Hey guys, Redneck Grappler here. Just wearing my favorite hat. Yeah, real tree. Camo, got the fish hook. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Let's see here. We got the Sprawl V Flex Series Brown. Uh, many of you seen uh, Forrest Griffin wear these. Uh, I don't think he still does. I'm not really sure. I haven't been keeping up with UFC a whole lot lately. Uh, in the past, I'm trying to get back into watching it and keep up with things but I'm gonna do a review of these uh, they've discontinued these uh, you can't buy them at sprawl.com or .tv whatever their website is you can't buy it there anymore but there are some places that still sell it um, budovideos.com B-U-D-O uh, that's where they stream the uh, Pan Ams and all that stuff uh, they still have some of these I think only in size 40 I believe uh, which, with these kind of shorts, they have a drawstring as well. At they have a, let's, I'll, I'll show you. They have this big Velcro right here. And it, I mean, it, it can undo all, all the way, all the way to there. And um, it also has a drawstring inside. So, I mean, if you're maybe a 38, possibly even a 36, you could probably pull this off. Uh, I'd say maybe if you're a 38, you could pull it off. I'd be careful doing 36. I mean, unless you just really want them. Uh, they are 24.95. That's pretty dang cheap, actually, for sprawl shorts. They're originally 49.95. I bought them for about 55 a couple years ago at a store here. Extreme Athletic Wear. Shoot, I don't know, something like that. Extreme something. And uh, I like them. They're good. They're good shorts. They're um, like I said, they're the V Flex series, which this this whole all this material is I don't know how to explain. I mean, it's it's not super stretchy. It's not really stretchy at all, but it's not like uh, I don't know, super tight. It's not like super firm to where you can't move around at all. But it's called the V Flex for this reason right here. Between the legs, we got this Under Armour like material. It's all let me uh figure out how to set this camera down to show you. I don't know if I can do that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna give me a tripod. Okay, there we go. We got this in between the legs here. It's really, really stretchy. And, uh, you know, that helps. It's also, I found it's also pretty good for um, Muay Thai and stuff. Uh, you know, usually that, you know, it doesn't help a whole lot, but it doesn't hurt you in case you know you you do stretch that far when you kick which would be insane because there's this giant slit in the leg which I, I really do like that for Muay Thai uh, a lot of you uh, who do Muay Thai you know that that's pretty important um, to help get that you know your hip over and get that leg up there all that good stuff to get a powerful kick but um, you know it's pretty cool you got the little sprawl logo down here Sprawl right there. Sprawl on the uh, Velcro, which that's what I want to talk about now. Um, the way this is constructed, there's Velcro right here also. Let me just undo that for you. The way this is constructed, you Velcro this part up right here where a zipper would be on jeans or any other kind of pants that have zippers. Um, you Velcro that up and it it doesn't really line up perfectly. I don't know if I got a you know just a bad pair or what, but I've noticed even if I line it up as close as I can, it's still that there's Velcro either from here or from here that rubs the crap out of my uh, abs in that area. I guess that'd be my waist. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Okay, so like I was saying, that that, that gets really annoying, you know, while you're training, just have that rubbing at you, but. It's it's not it's not too bad. It's just kind of annoying, like I said, you know. Um, yeah. The drawstrings right here also get caught up in this Velcro and they kind of fray a little bit. But uh, you know, that happens with most fight shorts that have Velcro on them, which is basically all of them. But uh, yeah, it's I mean you can cinch these up pretty tight. I don't I don't remember what size these are. I remember when I bought them a few years ago, they were. I think there were two size. 
I was a 30. I think these are 34. And they, I mean, I can, I was wearing them then and I didn't have any problems with them slipping off or coming too loose. Uh, that drawstring really helps out a lot. Um, you know, like I said earlier, you, you're going to buy these in a 40, in a 40, you know, 38. I'm fairly certain you could pull that off. 36 might be kind of pushing it. But, uh, hey, I mean, if you really want them, it's worth a shot. That's pretty cheap for a pair of fight shorts, a sprawl. I mean, great quality shorts. You know, I, I like them a lot. And, um, you know, on the back here, same same kind of stuff. We got this, uh, where'd it go? Got the sprawl over here and then sprawl down here. Great shorts. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, I got a little pocket in here, you know, mouthpiece change if you wear your shorts to the store i don't even know whatever um yeah I, I like them a lot and uh you know i might not buy them again just because the velcro but like i said or the velcro rubbing me but like i said you know um i could have just got a bad batch you know could have kind of got messed up in the washer or something and i also oh yeah i also i uh hang dry these i don't know I don't know if the tag says to do that. I think it says you can tumble dry. Let me look real quick. I don't know if you can... No, it's too blurry. But I'll read you what it says. Marie, machine wash, do not tumble dry. Okay, never mind. Don't tumble dry it. Medium iron, if you iron your fight shorts. Not really sure who does that. And do not bleach it. Which, yeah, they're brown. I don't know why you'd bleach it. But, uh, you know, good pair of shorts overall. I like them. Uh, I, you know, I'd recommend them if you're looking for a, you know, a durable fight short that'll last you for a while. You know, if you can't get this for the $25 price at Budo Videos, I don't know if I'd pay $55 for it like I did. But uh, you know, if you have the extra money and you want to pay that full price, go right ahead. And yeah, I don't think you'll be sorry. You know, it's good shorts, durable. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.